What's going on everyone, it is Doz1983 here and today we're going to be talking about Ghostwire Tokyo and giving my first impressions of the first three hours of gameplay. Ghostwire is an action adventure game developed by Tango Gameworks and published by Bethesda. Uh, this game was released worldwide on March 25th in 2022, but this was a one year timed exclusive for the PlayStation 5 and Windows. The game was later released on Xbox Series X and S on uh, April 12th, 2023, and with online streaming options on Game Pass, etc. But it's an action adventure game played from the first person perspective. The player can use a variety of psychic and paranormal abilities to defeat the ghosts and spirits haunting Tokyo. The combat has been described as karate meets magic as the player utilizes hand movements inspired by Kujukiri hand gestures to cast spells. When an, an enemy loses most of their health, its core is exposed and the player can use a takedown move to destroy it. By defeating these spirits, the character will collect spirit points and resources used to upgrade their abilities. So what we will do, we will begin with the good point. Now I found this game to be incredibly beautiful. With the setting of Tokyo and being completely deserted apart from the visitors, the fog, and how it utilizes the ray tracing on an RTX graphics card, it just looks oh, beautiful. And I think you would agree with some of the scenes that you are seeing at the moment, that they've really put some good work into the visuals of this game. The other good point I found was how they brought Japanese folklore into a modern aesthetic, especially when we are in an age where we are spoilt for choice on games. We've got the Chinese aesthetic of Wu Long Fool and Dynasty. We've got the modern cyberpunk styles in Watch Dogs Legion. We've got the futuristic styles of Cyberpunk 2077. And yet this game, still looks worth the AAA price. But don't go buying the game just yet, because with everything, there are some bad points. Beginning of which is the gameplay. The gameplay gets very repetitive very quickly from what I can tell. This is down to the Ubisoft style. When I say Ubisoft style, I mean to unlock areas of the map, you have to cleanse Tory Gate. Well, this is a good game mechanic to have and works very well in some games, such as Assassin's Creed franchise. I'm starting to find that it's being overused by too many developers to essentially prolong, frankly, a boring story. Which brings me nicely on to my next point, the story. Uh, I'm three hours into the game and I do not know the characters' names. The characters' names have come up and we have had some emotional parts of the game, but none of it has decided to click for me. The basic plot of the game is when the fog comes along and all the spirits released, there is one spirit known as KK, <laughs> who is flying over the scene of a traffic collision, find a body to essentially possess, runs into one, body's too far gone, won't let him possess it runs into another, body's just right. He takes over Akito's body and the story plays out from there. A little bit later on, it turns out that Akito's sister, Maori, is called an observer. Essentially, someone who's in a coma, so they are half dead, half alive, so they can see the underworld. However, they cannot, they cannot influence the underworld. While the actual premise for the story is fantastic and it could be so good, the voice acting and the portrayal of the story, it just brings up a lackluster performance. And the characters, frankly, they're a bit boring and very 2D. They're just a bit dull in the nicest way possible. So to summarize, Whilst this game is visually beautiful and has got a really good idea behind it, I do feel that the repetitive gameplay, the lackluster story, and how boring the characters are, I doubt I'll finish this game. I will more than likely be playing it, and I will play it multiple times, 
However, I do not feel I will end up finishing the story. And for that, I would rate it ooh, just on looks. It's going to have to end up being around a 7 out of 10. It could be better if they improve the story and the gameplay mechanics. I do think it could be an amazing game. But if you've played this game, let me know what you thought of it in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more first impressions of videos coming to Xbox Game Pass.